I have absolutely nowhere to go right now. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Um, yeah, I have absolutely nowhere to go right now. I'm just kind of cruising around. It's a holiday here in Canada, so nothing's open. It's, it's Monday. And uh, it was too beautiful to stay inside, so I just wanted to get out and go for a small ride. Who knows where? I'll probably just ride into the city, see if there's anything going on there. Probably not, though. Never get any good footage in town. I've been riding two months, and in this two months, I have seen so little on the streets. I've seen nothing. No accidents, no dink drivers, nothing. And I don't understand how people like, you know, 6 foot 4 Honda and Wall Terrific, they got some awesome footage, and I'm just like, you know, not getting any. It doesn't make any sense. It could be because I do live in a smaller city. That might be it. But I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Be pretty cool if I got some cool footage today though. Because I got the GoPro all charged up. All ready to go and do some fun twisties maybe. If I can find any. New Brunswick day. Pretty cool. I don't really know much about the holiday, unfortunately. Can't really tell you guys very much. All I can say is that everything's closed. Nowhere to go. Oh well. Gives me a chance to get out of the house, which is kind of nice. I spend way too much time in the house. Ooh, motorcycles. Nice tricks of rope. Uh, so what did you guys think of the last video? I find that I don't really have a direction with my vlogs. I don't know where or what kind of vlog I want to do. Because, I mean, there's... You know, other vloggers, they have different styles, like Jake, the guard of snake, he's kind of like a funny shenanigan kind of guy. And then you have, you know, <laughs> Chase on Two Wheels, who does just uh, motorcycle reviews. And, oh, and then you have Snowcat, who is, you know, dicking around with traffic and stuff. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'm meant for motovlogging, honestly. I have no idea. So I'm not really a social person, so I don't really talk very much. I don't really have much to chat about. And I live in a small city, so I don't really see anything. And I don't know how much I should talk about my life either, because I don't want to be, like, too personal, you know. But I guess we'll see. We'll see what you guys like. Let me know. Let me know what you guys want to see, because I have no idea. You guys can help me out. I do like doing dual vlogs. That's the fun part, I think. Dual vlogs are a blast. I could do those all day. All day, every day, Full stop. I'm gonna go. Thank you, sir. One of my biggest pet peeves on the road is people who don't signal. It absolutely drives me crazy. Like, I don't understand why it's it's something so simple, yet so few people do it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. When I first started driving, I just did it out of like, you know, it's just like, it's something you have to do. If you wanna be on the road, you have to signal. And it's better for everyone because when you signal, you notify everyone around you what you're intending to do. You're avoiding accidents. And, you know, you got these people who just don't do it. And it's like, well, I mean, come on. Do you just want to get re-rended or, or what? I mean, come on. And it's so easy. Look, boop, done. I go around this loser. I don't get it. I mostly see it when I'm driving though, not riding. When I'm riding, I don't know, I just... I try not to pay attention to that stuff. I can't let my... my pet peeves distract me when I'm riding. Not good. Not good. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna ride around the city, see if I can find any cool stuff going on. Probably not, but... It's worth a shot. A day of footage. Hopefully the GoPro does not die because it died last time and I lost a lot of good footage so 
we'll see what happens. Sailboats! Sailboats! I love sailing. I used to sail a lot. And one time I was sailing and I was stuck in a hurricane. That was fun. Oh my god. We anchored in this little cove and the wind was so strong and so intense that we lost anchor like four times. And I remember the first time we were all sitting inside and we were kind of just enjoying the, the solitude, if you will. And then all of a sudden we noticed that we are like within 10 or 15 feet from the shore. Oh, that was terrifying. Oh my God, it was nuts. I've never been so scared in my life, I tell you. It was something else. Go faster. Knee down. I probably look like a dork. It is so dead. There is nothing going on right now. No cars, no people. No energy. No nothing. Ooh, what is that? I should catch up to him. But I gotta wait at this red light. Alright, let's try to catch up to that bike. Without getting caught by the cops. That'd be nice. Oh, but maybe I'll have to stop at that red light. Yeah, we'll be good. Oh yeah. What kind of bike is that? Suzuki, I think. Nice bike. Yeah, Suzuki, 700. There's a cop behind me. <laughs> act cool, Brandon, act cool. The cop is just hanging out beside me. Terrifying. <laughs> oh, that was so scary. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna bust us for drag racing or something. Well, when they see a white car, they'll be more relieved. That guy just ran a red light. Like, what the hell? Wow. I get so mad at people for breaking basic laws or basic rules of the road. And on my first video, the dual vlog with Fitmoto, I ran a stop sign in like the first 20 seconds of the video without even realizing it. Yeah. Are we still going to go to the new river? Do we have time? Well, you got to pay. You just went to a red stop sign. I, I didn't even notice it too. It was Fitmoto that told me. I was like, what? Cool. Some guys are on adventure. Une aventure. I think all bikes should have gear indicators. Like, it's such a simple thing, yet so few bikes have them. It just doesn't make sense. They're so nice to have. I mean, you could obviously just count and feel what gear you're in, but, I mean, what's the point of that when you can just have a screen tell you what to do? That's kind of how our society is moving these days. Everything is spoon-fed to us. That guy fucked up. He fucked up hard. Nice going, buddy. I bet you didn't signal. <laughs> I'm in full gear right now, and I'm not that hot. I am a perfect temperature. I'm actually a little bit cold. That's pretty good. I could ride all day. I could, I could. I should. Should I? I don't know. I think I should. Empty parking lots for days. Empty parking lots equals fun. Try to avoid all the gravel. 
<laughs> Don't go over the speed bump at speed. Nope. Especially in a lean. That'd be slightly terrifying. end the video here you guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you want to check out some other cool videos uh check out our last video right here where we go check out sand sculptures and then over here somewhere there will be uh my last vlog you guys can check that out too i'll see you guys in a few days peace